What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we're gonna celebrate the opening of the new Venom movie by showing you how to build Venom from the Venom movie. I think I just said Venom more times in one sentence than anybody ever in human history. So let's ignore that and get started with this tutorial. So it's really interesting because this Venom movie is set in its own universe, as in Spider-Man's not in this universe. And of course, the Venom that we all know and love from over the years has the big white spider torso on his chest, which he got because the symbiote was on Spider-Man first and then it went to Venom, so it was kind of like, you know, that transference thing. And you guys know the history, I don't need to repeat it. But it's kind of weird because with no Spider-Man in this universe, there's no spider on Venom's torso. So, in designing my custom figure, I had to reflect the almost veiny look that Venom has all over his body, and I tried to do that by picking black pieces that had either silver, white, or gray highlights on them, and I like the way that this figure turned out. So, let's get started in breaking it down so you can build a better Venom for your collection. So the head is from the Venom from the Spider-Man sets that came out a few years ago. Unfortunately, we haven't had Venom in a set for a while, but in December, we're getting a new Venom head. So if you're watching this video as of December 2018 or later, we're getting a new Venom in that set and you can use that head, or you can check out the link in the description below to buy this head and any of the other pieces I have listed here in case you're missing those. Missing those. So moving down, the torso is actually Batman from the Lego Batman movie turned around. So my version of Venom has the Batman logo on his back, but on the front, I really like the way that it looks and turns out. It works really well for me for Venom because I like how the back muscles here are actually like raised up. It makes Venom's pecs look like they're higher. And if you look down at the feet here, I actually have him standing on little one by one skinny pieces to make him taller than a normal minifigure say like if I put this figure next to him you can see Venom's just a little bit taller and I want him to have that big menacing look that he has in the movie without going too overboard with making him big and doing the purest method restricts that so that's how I made him a little bit taller but again with him being taller on the bottom I like that those back muscles make his pecs look a little bit higher. So turning him on his side here, you can see the arms have this nice little white trim running down from them. And as much as I hate to say it, those arms are from Percival Graves from the collectible minifigure series of Harry Potter. So the thing about that is, is Percival Graves is the chase figure and I know that he's hard to get. And I know you guys might not have Percival Graves because he's so hard to get. So I'm sorry for using a piece that is so rare, but I do have it linked out in the description below if you need to buy a Percival Graves to build this version of Venom. So zooming back out, the only other piece that you'll need are the legs from General Zod, which I really like because they have this nice silver trim. And I like that that silver trim kind of runs down the leg and it really does look like Venom from the movie and having those veins kind of scattered across his body. And I like the way that it accents this figure. So that's my Venom from the Venom movie. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure. I'll be the first to say that this was a very, very difficult figure to design, but I do kind of like the way that it turned out. And I think my figure, regardless of what you think is gonna turn out better than the actual Venom movie. Ouch, burn, burn, burn. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to check the description for these parts if you need to buy any of them. I've got many superheroes today bricks for sale if you'd like to buy one. They're super cheap and they help support my channel. And be sure to drop some comments below letting me know figures you'd like to see me create for future videos. So guys, thanks so much for your loyalty and for tuning in to watch my videos. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. So until next time, build on. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.